What's happening, my friends? Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's talk about Anderson Silva versus Chael Sonnen and Anderson Silva's last combat sports outing. This one threw me for a loop. I wasn't expecting this matchup. The boxing match between Chael Sonnen and Anderson is supposed to go down June 15th in Brazil. Right now, as far as I'm concerned with the odds, Anderson Silva is the heavy favorite with good reason. I mean, logically, you have to pick Anderson Silva to have a significant advantage against Chael Sonnen in the stand-up, whether that's MMA striking, boxing, whatever in the stand-up realm. I don't care how old Anderson is, he's still going to be skilled standing and dangerous, and certainly more skilled than Chael Sonnen in pure striking. All right, so in many respects, this matchup is kind of poetic. It's a poetic ending and finish to Anderson's illustrious career. If you know your mixed martial arts history, whether you saw their fights live in real time, or saw their rivalry and matches afterwards, you know that these guys got a history, and at one point, super adversaries. Ironically, Chael Sonnen and Anderson Silva are actually really good with each other. Dare I say, they might even be friends. Chael Sonnen has a lot of respect for Anderson. I mean, that's a big contrast to back in the day, where he used to just openly insult Anderson and try to get under his skin. But there was a method to the madness. That was Chael just trying to throw Anderson off of his game, make him make mistakes due to being angry. On some level, it might have worked. Of course, in that first fight, Chael Sonnen was controlling Anderson, winning the fight like four and a half rounds. He was on his way to win the championship. Anderson pulls off a Hail Mary triangle off his back, taps out Chael. Then they had the rematch. We all saw what happened there. Anderson clearly victorious. Nothing like the first fight. I read some of Chael's thoughts on his boxing match. He said he was honored to fight Anderson Silva to compete against him in his last combat sports match. Really cool, man. Really cool. Whether this one will garner a lot of attention, I'm not sure. Definitely with the hardcores. Your casual average fan, not so much. But for the OG fans, the people that have been watching the sport for a bit, saw Anderson come up. Remember Chael Sonnen at his peak. Who are fans of both of these guys. You're going to tune in. Now, a fight to fight, anything can happen. Combat sports, fighting in general can be unpredictable. Chael Sonnen is not entirely clueless standing. He's a big guy. He's strong. I don't really see him as a boxer per se, but hey, you never know. Maybe he could land something clean on Anderson, hurt him, get him out of there. I don't see him winning a decision though. I know for me, for my money, I would be betting on Anderson to win in a dominant fashion like pretty confident, like with like 90% certainty, unless something crazy happens. But I like the fact that these guys are cordial so far. We'll see if they have a press conference. Anderson usually is quiet, chill, you know, we know Uncle Chill likes to talk, but I wouldn't be mad if these guys stay cordial, go out there, have one last fight, and uh, Anderson rides off into the sunset. And I would imagine maybe that's Chill Sonnen's last outing as well. So once again, kind of poetic, kind of cool. But guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about this boxing match. Did it kind of throw you off guard? It threw me off guard. I wasn't expecting it. We'd love to read your thoughts. Thanks for watching or listening. After it takes place, we'll come back and talk about it as usual. Until then, take care, my friends.